Gregory, the Photoshop guy, and what I'm going to show you today in this tutorial is how to do a basic retouch for a senior portrait or a family portrait. When you get used to this technique, you should probably do what we're showing here in three to five minutes. This isn't something that's going to go into Vogue magazine. This is something that as a portrait photographer, when I'm doing senior pictures, I can only really afford to spend no more than five minutes on each subject to be able to do some retouching and make it presentable for print. So what we're going to start out with here is a photo of a student with some acne, as you can see. And what we're going to do is eliminate that acne. Uh, I'm going to show you a technique to get rid of the acne, soften the skin, brighten the teeth, and put a little sparkle in their eye. So let's get to work. OK, the first thing I like to do is to make sure I duplicate the layer. So control J duplicates the background layer, and then I renamed it Retouch. I'm going to zoom in on the subject, and I'm going to start getting rid of the acting. I use the healing brush tool for this. And one of the things I like to do with the healing brush tool, it's, typically, it's just essentially a content aware tool. So I like to drag over the um, blemishes, or lightly touch, you know, go pitter patter, pitter patter. What I don't want to do is just land on top of it and give it one big clink. Now what ends up happening when you do that is you end up getting these little spotty things. So we're just going to go over, we're going to get the big stuff. We can't get everything. The skin softening is going to take care of some of that. And we're just going to go over it and make sure we get the big ones. There we go, the little dry skin on the nose. It's starting to look pretty good here. Kind of stand back, take a peek at this, and yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate that layer, and then I'm going to rename it Filter. I'm going to go up to Filter, go down to Other, and just select High Pass. Now, between 20 and 25 pixels, what we're looking at is where we can see the detail, but it's kind of a gray, you'll get a feel for this. There we go. And then we're going to go and add some Gaussian Blur. Between 3 and 4 pixels works. Perfect. And then we're going to change our mode to Linear Like. Ouch! This is why you're nice to the Photoshop guy. No problem. We're just going to invert that. And then I'm going to go ahead and suck my layer styles and use the blend diff sliders. Use the Alt key to be able to do that. Perfect. What that does is it blends what we've done to the layer below. And now I'm going to reduce my opacity. Right here we're at 50%. It's between 45 and 60 tends to work. And then we're going to make a layer mask and then fill that with black. And then setting our brush to white. Oh, nothing's happening because I haven't set my brush to white. There we go. I'm going to paint on our effect. And what I like to do is have my flow set down to 10%, my opacity to 100%. It gives me really good control. I'm just going to go over the whole face and paint, paint, paint just a little bit. And don't get too worried if you mess up. You can just repaint with black and. Um, erase it and we're starting to see the effect here get some good smooth skin nice and now i'm going to get the teeth a little fixed so i'm going to add an adjustment layer and hue and saturation and i'm going to use the eyedrop tool to make it yellow and then slide that slider all the way to the left look at that i've desaturated the whole thing so once again we're going to use the layer mask fill it with black go back to our brush and then we're going to brush the teeth here using white. We're going to clean up the teeth, just give them a good scrubbing. And what that's doing is just applying that effect to the teeth only. A little more, a little more. Perfect. And look at that before, after. Pretty amazing. So now we've got the skin looking good, the teeth looking good. Let's put a little sparkle in the eyes. So I'm going to go up in my elliptical marquee tool and create a circle on a new layer, fill that with white. Then I'm going to duplicate that layer, control click into the duplicated layer and then use my buttons to push up that. I'm going to go down to the first layer and then I'm going to hit the delete and then go up and delete the second layer. Perfect. Now I'm going to go to Gaussian Blur. Blur three to four pixels. Wonderful. Getting close. And then I am going to duplicate that layer for the other eye. Drag it over. 
use my arrow buttons to get it exactly into place. Perfect. And then I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light on each layer. And then I'm going to select both layers and then reduce the opacity to where we get just this little sparkle. Perfect. We're at 60%, between 40 and 60 tends to work. And zoom back out. And there we have it. A beautifully done, retouched photograph. And there you have it. We've transformed a boy with some acne into a really good looking portrait. There's the before. And there's the after. Once you get this technique down, you can do this in about five minutes or less. One way that helps is to be able to write an action to to automate the skin softening process. I'll, I'll go over actions in a future tutorial. Let me step out of the way so you can see these two side by side. The before and the after. Five minutes or less. Truly an amazing difference between what we started with and what we ended up with. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Until next time, this is the Photoshop guy saying goodbye. Good luck to you.